Hey, what's going on everybody? So I'm basically gonna have the drone behind me in this neck of woods following me while I am on the 9-bot max. I have no idea if it's following me yet. Yes it is. I basically got a hear for it. Because I can't even look to see if it's possible. But as long as it sounds like a bunch of bees are swarming behind me, I'm okay. That means it's following me. Go a little faster. <laughs> going around a lot of corners now still with me that's a good sign now let's see if it loses the Wow, look at it. Hey, I'm over here. Did you get me again? Nope, it's just staying put. It won't even let me connect to... It won't let me draw a box around it. It's weird. It's not allowing me to draw a box around myself. It's really weird. It's not allowing me to draw a box on myself. Did I break something? I don't even know what I did. It won't allow me to trace. Alright, so I like reboot everything. And it's connecting again. So I seriously don't know what happened. Maybe while I was in the bag I hit a bump and something disconnected? I don't know. <laughs> It's, I'm doing 24, 25 kilometers. It's like a video game. Stay away from the drone. The house is completely wide open, so I'm cruising. I'm doing 30 kilometers. me. There's something happened here and it's not allowing me to land. Look, I'm pushing down on 
on the controller and it was not allowing me to land. That was really odd. I wanted to land right there. I'm gonna have to check my log um, if that was actually confirming to go down. Interesting. I thought overall it was pretty cool without watching the video. Um, so I'll, I'm gonna watch it, see what the drone was doing. Then I'll give a little final uh, thoughts on the, the feedback. All right, so I came back into the studio and I've been having a look at that video and it was really strange in how the drone would not come back down. That's what's really bugging me. Um, I, you can see in the video there, I was holding the stick down. Only time when it started to descend is when the battery reached below the threshold, which was 10%, I believe it was, and it automatically landed. But before that, it wouldn't land. Otherwise, I mean, it tracked me really, really good. Uh, you know, DJI, it's still, even th those side sensors, by not having those side sensors, it really scares me when it's flying in through those trees, but it still stayed on me. It tracked me a lot of the ways, especially when I was doing, if you're watching the video there, I was doing that S curve around and the drone did whip around each side, uh, to keep following me. So that was really cool. Um, I wish I was able to have a little bit higher, but I, I, my goal was to have it through the dense trees and everything, to have it tracking. That's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it somewhat useful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you did not find it useful, give it a thumbs down twice. All right, we'll catch you on the next one.